If you're admiring something, if you're inspired by something, if you're feeling that, it's because you're seeing a part of yourself. There's a part of you that you're, that's being reflected or projected in that person's image or in that experience. So let me talk about, well, I've looked like 10 principles or like how to, right? So let me hit on these when they come up. So one of them is um, um, never inspire, outspire instead. So I was in a yoga class and I was, uh, I was doing the, my yoga pose and the teacher was like talking about inhaling and outhaling. And I was like, outhaling, that's not a word, but it's kind of interesting. Inhaling and outhaling. And I know that the word inspire Actually, the root of it is in spirit, to breathe in spirit, right? And inspire, so if you're inspired, it, it comes from this idea that you have breathed in a spirit. And that feeling you have is because your spirit has been breathed, has been breathed, breathed, breathed <coughs> into you. Where does my language go when I'm speaking? I don't know what happens. But you breathe in spirit, and you can feel that spirit inside you. That's what inspired is. That's just, this is the idea. So you breathe in a spirit. And then... And then you feel this thing, and so I love this idea, because when people say, oh, you're, you're inspiring, John, it's like, boom, I can just hit him with this. I'm like, if I'm inspiring, then what's actually happening is you're breathing in the image of me or the sound of me or what I'm doing. It's resonating with your heart inside, that this, your spirit inside. So actually, it's not me. It's you. You're not seeing me. You're seeing you. A case the point, I used to look at people on gymnastics rings and think, and think that's kind of silly. Like, what are they doing? These guys are adults. Like, this, you know, it's like gymnastics. It's supposed to be in the Olympics, but I never cared. And then, like, three or four years ago, I got into fitness and CrossFit, and I got to play on the rings and do gymnastics. And then I felt what it was like. And then I started thinking, wow, this is cool. And, I started, and now when I see people on gymnastics rings, I'm like, that is amazing. Like, my, I feel it in my body because... I'm not seeing them, I'm seeing the possibility for me and I can feel it, it becomes, it's part of me. So in, when you're inspired, you're not actually, it's not about the person. I, I always uh, sum it up in saying, you are what you admire. If you're admiring something, if you're inspired by something, if you're feeling that, it's because you're seeing a part of yourself. There's a part of you that you're, that's being reflected or projected in that person's image or in that experience. And not only do I like that because it's a nice way for me to have to get out of people saying I'm inspiring, it's kind of, you know, it's hard to receive that sometimes. Um, it, it's convenient, but, but I love it because it's, it's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. Every single time you're inspired, you'll know that you're seeing your own desire and your own potential. So if you see somebody doing something, you're like, that's amazing, shit. I can't go to sleep tonight without knowing that that's because I know I can do that some deep level. I know I can do that and I want to. So how, are you, how can you live with yourself now knowing the things that inspire you are you? So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button, and also share with your friends. Share the love. Tweet it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, LinkedIn it, whatever you do, get it out there. And of course, if you really want to engage in this idea, down below in the comments, the discussion, the dialogue is where the best insights come. Challenge me, ask me questions, I will get back to you. Your ideas, your comments help me to create more videos. Finally, if you're interested in learning at all about what I do, my personal coaching for leaders, artists, musicians, sole proprietors, anybody who's a creative force in the world and creating their own things, check out my website. Also, if you're a coach and you want to learn more about my apprenticeship or learn more about how I create coaching clients, check out my website, link down below. Much love.